Hi there, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for March. This month begins with a very idealistic blend between Venus and Neptune. Now, it could be that you're going to get to know someone who's older or younger than you, and this person can in some way really deeply influence and affect you. And it could be a very positive link-up. And with the Sun also forging a fantastic link with Pluto at the very start of this month, your determination to better your lot can also be very strong, especially around finances and professional interests. But with your ruler Mercury twisting backwards through to the 17th, not everything is going to go exactly to plan. It's not because you're going to necessarily make a mistake, but none of us can completely control our environment, all the things we encounter. And Mercury retrograde does have a tendency to throw up a few curved balls. Having said that, Venus does combine with Mercury beautifully across the 6th and the 8th. But there is a quarter moon on the 4th, which also suggests that you shouldn't try too hard in what you're trying to do at the moment. It's probably the case that something you want to achieve, which is very important to you, is probably dependent in some way on linking in with another person. And if you come across as being someone who's not so much of a team player and wants it all your own way, that can actually create, can create some friction and people might seem to go out of their way to block your goals. Now, the new moon of the 11th is really encouraging you to make sure that you're bringing a unity to your need for happiness at work between just earning the money and doing something that's really worthwhile. And of course, that's easy to say, isn't it? If jobs were plentiful, people would be moving around a lot more. They're not, so people tend to sit tight. And that creates a certain amount of tension. But if you do have more control over your situation, you might think carefully about some kind of career change. Now, Mars is going to be moving on the 12th in a very positive way for you. It's going to help you to transfer some of the confidence it's been giving you over the last six weeks into a more cooperative approach in the next six weeks. But Mars isn't usually so much about cooperation. It's more about us and it's more about instant gratification for our egos. But here it is dimmed by the ability to meld in with others that much more. And if you enjoy team sport or you're thinking about getting fitter, this change is very good for you. However, Mars does start to bond with Uranus from the 17th through to the 27th, suggesting that there could be some interesting developments as far as your future life direction are concerned and even friendships with some very, very sudden changes of plan or some dramatic people entering your orbit who really can help you to look at life in a completely different way. If you've got even a, a scrap of rebellious in your nature, it's probably going to come out during these days, particularly as they both are going to angle up sharply to Pluto, the planet of power, which is in the part of your scope to do with money, possessions, joint relationships. And I would say that if you are trying to approach anything with uh, an element of idealism, then that could be tough going, particularly once the Sun moves on the 20th and Venus on the 22nd, because they're both saying to you, look, pitch in with others. Uh, you can do better by joining together rather than standing alone. Or if you do want to stand alone, join with others in a kind of loose association or cooperation. But this angle of Pluto and Uranus, which went on for seven months last year, is going to continue for the next seven months of this year. So expect some of the things, some of the flavor that occurred last year around these issues of balancing uh, principles, morals, with the desire to make money, some of these things could come up again. However, the full moon on the 27th, I think on the whole, can be a very good one for you because it's going to oppose Venus, and it could see something quite significant happen around a friendship. Who knows? It may be even one friend could become so much more. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck, and goodbye for now.